Unit 3. A party. Part A. Reading. It is Lisa's birthday. She is seven years old today, and her family and friends are at her birthday party. On the table is a birthday cake with seven candles, one for each year. People sing happy birthday to Lisa. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. Happy birthday to you. When they finish singing, Lisa blows out the candles on the cake. Then everybody eats cake and ice cream. After that, Lisa opens her birthday cards and presents. Her family and friends give her toys and clothes for her birthday. In the United States, people of all ages celebrate birthdays. But when an adult has a birthday, there are not a lot of candles on the birthday cake. Many Americans over the age of 30 don't like to talk about their age. Some people joke every year, I'm 29 years old today. Perhaps they do not want to get any older. Task 1. Listen and decide whether the statements are true or false. Mai is my neighbor. She turned 16 recently, and her parents held a birthday party for her. I was one of those invited. Mai is my neighbor. She turned 16 recently, and her parents held a birthday party for her. I was one of those invited. The party began at about 3 in the afternoon. There were about 20 of us gathering in Mai's house. She didn't like having the party at a restaurant because it is noisy and expensive. We gave presents to Mai and she happily opened them. It must really be exciting to receive all those presents. After that, Mai's mother served us soft drinks and biscuits. We then listened to music and played cards. The winners were given prizes. At about 4.30, Mai's mother brought out the birthday cake. It was beautifully decorated with pink and white icing. Sixteen colorful candles sat in the middle of the cake. We all clapped our hands eagerly and sang happy birthday as she blew out the candles and cut the cake. We helped ourselves to slices of the delicious cake and sang all the songs that we knew. Finally, at about six in the evening, the party came to an end. We were all tired but happy. The parents of other children came to collect them by motorbikes. I helped Mai and her mother clean up the mess we had made. After that, I walked home, which was only three doors away. Task 2. Listen again and answer the following questions. Task 1. Listen and decide whether the statements are true or false. Mai is my neighbor. She turned 16 recently, and her parents held a birthday party for her. I was one of those invited. Mai is my neighbor. She turned 16 recently, and her parents held a birthday party for her. I was one of those invited. The party began at about 3 in the afternoon. There were about 20 of us gathering in Mai's house. She didn't like having the party at a restaurant because it is noisy and expensive. We gave presents to Mai and she happily opened them. It must really be exciting to receive all those presents. After that, Mai's mother served us soft drinks and biscuits. 
We then listened to music and played cards. The winners were given prizes. At about 4.30, Mai's mother brought out the birthday cake. It was beautifully decorated with pink and white icing. Sixteen colorful candles sat in the middle of the cake. We all clapped our hands eagerly and sang happy birthday as she blew out the candles and cut the cake. We helped ourselves to slices of the delicious cake and sang all the songs that we knew. Finally, at about six in the evening, the party came to an end. We were all tired, but happy. The parents of other children came to collect them by motorbikes. I helped Mai and her mother clean up the mess we had made. After that, I walked home, which was only three doors away. Task 2. Listen again and answer the following questions. Part C. Listening. Listen and repeat. Gathering. Decorated. Restaurant. Icing. Prizes. Slices. Birthday cake. Clapped. Part E. Language focus. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Lunch. Lovely. Lemonade. Jelly. Glass. Salad. Pretty. Europe. Parent. Really. Restaurant. Library. Hit. House. Holiday. Hospital. Husband. Helicopter. Practice reading aloud these sentences. 1. Hello, Mr. Allen. You're early for lunch. It's only 11 o'clock. 2. I'd like a plate of salad, a glass of lemonade, a slice of melon, and some jelly, please. 3. Laura is a really pretty librarian in the public library. 4. Her parents own a restaurant in a country in Central Europe. 5. Hello, Harry. Have you heard the news? There's been a horrible accident. A helicopter has hit Helen's house. 6. Helen and her husband will have to spend their holiday in hospital. Test yourself A. 1. Listening. Listen and complete the sentences. I've known James for 25 years. We first met when he moved to my town. He went to a different school, but we became friends because he lived next door to me. We've known each other since then but we haven't kept in touch all that time. We lost contact with each other when I moved to Scotland in the 1970s for my job. 
I didn't go to James's wedding, but he came to mine. And now, well, I've been living in Brighton since 99, and these days I see James about once a week, usually in the park where I walk my dog, or in the pub for lunch with other friends that we've known for about the same length of time. We haven't been doing that for very long, but it's good to get all of us together. I've known James for 25 years. We first met when he moved to my town. He went to a different school, but we became friends because he lived next door to me. We've known each other since then, but we haven't kept in touch all that time. We lost contact with each other when I moved to Scotland in the 1970s for my job. I didn't go to James's wedding, but he came to mine. And now, well, I've been living in Brighton since 99, and these days I see James about once a week, usually in the park where I walk my dog, or in the pub for lunch with other friends that we've known for about the same length of time. We haven't been doing that for very long, but it's good to get all of us together. <laughs> 